Without much ado, I will begin my talk. It's called platelet 360 degrees. So this is a normal platelet histogram. You can see that the curve is beginning and ending at the baseline between the two variable discriminators. The lower discriminator is at 2 to 6 femtoliters and the upper one is between 12 and 30 femtoliters. So if I see this histogram, I am okay to report any platelet count based on impedance count. But if my histograms look something like the one on my left and on my right, then I would be very wary to even report a platelet count of 1 lakh using impedance method. So when we see these kind of histograms, we need to use some other technology to do our platelet counting. It could be any one of the five below. Usually what we do nowadays is the optical or some people like to call it the fluorescent platelet counting, which primarily use fluorescent flow cytometry in which the forward scatter is there for the cell size, the side scatter for the granularity and the side fluorescence for the DNA RNA content of the cells. So doing this technology, we can take care of all the conditions which affect the cell size of platelets like giant platelets, platelet aggregates, microcytic RBCs, fragmented RBCs. And these days, most analyzers have got a switching algorithm where you could do both impedance and optical base count and the machine will decide for you under which condition, which count is better and you can use your switching algorithm when you do both the counts. This is the workflow of platelet as we do in our laboratory. So all our platelets are subject to impedance based platelets. And if the platelet histogram is normal and the count is more than 1 lakh, we just report the impedance platelets as it is. However, if the platelet histogram is abnormal or the platelet count is less than 1 lakh, we run the platelet in the optical platelet mode and red, let the switching algorithm take over. So this is the red scattergram on a BC6800. This blue area here is the area of the normal non-reticulated platelets, the y-axis is the forward scatter or the size and the x-axis is the fluorescence. Just to the right and above is the area of the IFPF or the immature platelet fraction. This is actually accumulation of not only reticulated platelets but also giant platelets and together both these areas constitute the area of the optical platelet on the analyzer. <laughs> <laughs>